Imagine a world where one single person could cause damage amounting to over $169 million. A world where businesses, both massive and minuscule, could be brought to their knees by the click of a button. It's not a dystopian future or a plot from a Hollywood blockbuster, it's the reality of cybercrime in the heart of Russia, 32-year-old Roman Valerievich Selesnev, also known as Track 2, orchestrated a scheme that would forever change the landscape of cybercrime. His story unfolds from October 2009 to October 2013. During this time, Selesnev, from the comfort of his home in Vladivostok, hacked into retail point-of-sale systems and installed malicious software. This software allowed him to steal millions of credit card numbers from over 500 U.S. businesses and transmit the data to servers he controlled in Russia, Ukraine, and McLean, Virginia. The stolen credit card information was then bundled into groups, known as bases, and sold on various criminal carding websites. The buyers, in turn, used the illegally procured information to make fraudulent purchases. The majority of businesses targeted by Selesnev were small ones, including restaurants and pizza parlors in western Washington. The Broadway Grill in Seattle, for instance, was forced into bankruptcy following the cyber assault. Selesnev's scheme caused approximately 3,700 financial institutions' losses exceeding $169 million. In July 2014, authorities apprehended Selesnev in the Maldives. The laptop in his possession at the time contained more than 1.7 million stolen credit card numbers, some of which were traced back to businesses in western Washington. The laptop also held additional evidence linking Selesnev to the servers, email accounts, and financial transactions involved in the scheme. On August 25, 2016, a court convicted Selesnev of 38 counts related to his cybercriminal activities. These included 10 counts of wire fraud, eight counts of intentional damage to a protected computer, nine counts of obtaining information from a protected computer, nine counts of possession of 15 or more unauthorized access devices, and two counts of aggravated identity theft. The court sentenced him to 27 years in prison, delivering a clear message that the United States would not tolerate cyber criminal activities. The impact on the victims was profound. Not only did they suffer significant financial losses, but they also had to deal with the aftermath of the breach, including the loss of trust from their customers and the cost of improving their cybersecurity measures. The consequences of Selesnev's actions serve as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of cybercrime on individuals and businesses alike. In conclusion, the case of Roman Valerievich Selesnev, aka Track 2, highlights the severity and far-reaching implications of cybercrime. It's a tale of how one person can wield the power to cause monumental harm and how the law can bring such individuals to justice. It underscores the importance of stringent cybersecurity measures and the relentless pursuit of justice, no matter where the cybercriminals may hide.